as we continue our meditations, meditating on Jesus' seven last words from the cross. As we begin, get comfortable. Try to breathe in and breathe out a few times, trying to clear your mind of all that is going on in our world, in our lives. As we begin this meditation, as always, we remember where Jesus was, hanging on his cross, horribly dying for the world, for you. Today's meditation comes from John 19, 30, when Jesus said, It is finished. It is finished. Growing up, I loved those words, hearing those words, especially after the last day of school and being done with school for the summer and hearing those words after many graduations. I love those words, hearing those words at the end of all those sports practices. Take a few moments and think about the times you proclaimed or heard those words, it is finished. What was the circumstance of those times? How did you feel when you heard or said, after all those, it is finished times? Did you feel excited? Happy? Relieved? Did it encourage you to be ready for the next challenge? It is finished. I would imagine everybody in response to COVID-19 would love to say, would love to shout or hear, it is finished. What would that mean? The joy of a huge sigh of relief? not having to shelter in place anymore? Reuniting with loved ones, family, and friends? Going back to work? Or going back to school? The joy of going to the store and getting what we need? And the joy of feeling more at peace, having hope again. I am so looking forward to say it is finished from the COVID-19. It is finished. I would imagine everybody in response to our tornado recovery, would love to say, to shout it out, it is finished. What would that mean? The joy of worshiping in person again? Online is good, but probably better to be together, right? Singing God's praise in person again? Coming together, learning more about God's love in person? Again, I am so looking forward to say it is finished. How about you? It is finished. I wonder. What was Jesus thinking, proclaiming, 
when he shouted, it is finished. Was he glad that all the pain he was enduring, pain in his body and in his mind and spirit, was he glad it was coming to an end? Was he glad that his overall ministry, his mission, was coming to an end? What do you think? Let's think about something maybe more profound than Jesus just wanting all his pain gone or simply glad his ministry, his mission was coming to an end. Let's think about when Jesus said, it is finished, it means Jesus won the victory, the battle of Armageddon, as it were, defeating the power of sin and death forever. Our alienation from God, and I emphasize the word our alienation, God has never, ever been out of relationship with any of us. God is telling us the door to God is, has, and always will be open to and for all people. And, yes, all means all. There is nothing that can ever separate us from God's love given to you, to me, to the world God so loved that he sent the Christ and still so loves. Think about, it is finished. The same way we think about, this is my body and blood given and shed for you. What do you think about this understanding of Jesus' shout of victory? It is finished. With this understanding of God's love for the world, what if the world, all people, knew this understanding of God's grace? Would there be more peace? Would there be more hope, more acceptance, and more love? What if we were the ones to partner with God to share this incredible good news of it is finished? <laughs>